everybody well born it's jade and welcome back to my youtube channel today we will be making a cassette which is so nostalgic you know it brings me back to my childhood days you know um yes i was born in that era <laughs> um today we are going to be making a cassette um based off the theme of the mixtape devotional from illustrated faith and as you see here now i'm showing you a few of my prototypes so to speak you know my first attempt at making said cassette and um these two that you're looking on right now i actually made a video which it didn't come out so well because half of what i was doing was not in the frame and um i had to do it over and so that's why we're coming back now because i should have posted this last week um but half of what I was doing is not in frame because I'm not used to, you know, making videos. I typically work in my lap and not on the table. I know it's weird. I feel comfortable working that way. And this box is a little too tall. It would actually work perfect for a floppy disk. And these are just some mixed media paper that I stamped and watercolor on, you know, in honor of the mixed tape, you know, mixed media. Play on words there. And... This one is absolutely perfect. Now, full disclosure and disclaimer. This cardstock is actually thicker than the one that you're going to see me use. Um, this black one that I'm going to use now. So it's a lot more sturdy, the white one is. But I think, you know, white on white, you wouldn't see it that well. So that's why I'm using the black. Now you're going to need a six and three quarters by a four and a half cardstock and you're gonna score on the three and three six and three quarter sides sorry at the two and a half three five and a half and six inch marks and on the four and a half side you're gonna score at half an inch and at four inches and all these dimensions will be downstairs in the description box and then for the lid and you're going to just go ahead and score them now i don't have a scoreboard so i had to measure out all the little points with a ruler and make the line then score it and um i show you guys how i scored before so i i, I mean it's like watching paint dry it takes a little while but I just cut out all that because it it took a little while you know so for the lid you're gonna make a mark at the on the six inch line at half an inch so you're gonna start at a half an inch mark and then you're gonna mark three eighths of an inch and then you're gonna mark three and one eighth of an inch and then on the six and three quarter line you're gonna mark from the same half an inch you're starting there as your starting point and then you're gonna mark seven eighth of an inch and two and five eighth of an inch and then you're just gonna use your ruler and collect connect those lines and just make a snip on that line and then you're gonna make cut down to make an additional triangle now you're i'm scoring it but really i should have scored scored it before i made the cut that makes it a lot easier and then you're just going to make a right angle triangle on both sides just so that those ends can tuck into the box and you'll have the overhang of that um i think i want to say it's a rumbo shape and then you're seeing me cut making little triangles just so that when i fold up the box everything lays perfectly flat you know we have no bulging and such on the ends now at the five and a half and six inch mark you're seeing me make those same little triangular snips or notches however i totally like got ahead of myself and forgot that that cut i shouldn't have done that because that was my reinforcement which I later found out after I'd already made the snips and um, I had to cut another strip of paper just to reinforce it. But I didn't do that on camera though. Um, but I'm just letting you know. Also, if you're using um, a more rigid cardstock, a thicker cardstock, like I said, 
this wouldn't matter for you you would have no problems at all so now we're going to glue everything up and uh, i don't have all the fancy stuff like i said you know you use what you have i mean i have seen a bottle of tacky glue at my at the pharmacy in my area i've been eyeing it for a minute but you know use what you have and i have a big bottle of glue that i just keep pouring into this little dippy bottle and it works perfectly fine it dries relatively quickly um so i'm totally fine with it you know i do believe use what you have you know appreciate what you have no so that when you get all the fancy stuff you can appreciate those because if you have no respect for your stuff now you're never gonna get respect you know value and treasure what you have and it goes for you know your loved ones as well value and treasure them in the season where life is promised to no one you know you wake up today and they're gone tomorrow so you're seeing me fumbling <laughs> um trying to hold the box on i keep on moving and it uh, i made another blunder with this one too um it wasn't centered um when i was um fumbling at the end i'm fast forwarding to the end right but i didn't hold it straight enough so pay attention to that and because i didn't hold it straight enough or one of this side slipped and it kind of went crooked which i didn't realize until everything dried that i mean it didn't lay perfectly fat and you can kind of see it in the camera and i'm trying to fix it but i guess i didn't fix it well enough because i still had a little issue afterwards And you're seeing me so those flaps that i'm gluing down now that's the section that i was saying that i shouldn't have made the snips so it should have just folded over with the top section and it's when i'm going to push it in right now that i realized that and you know what's done is done there was no going back after this so had i not done that this would have laid perfectly flat like the one you see at the top And like I said, if you have Velcro um, dots or magnet, you can even skip that whole step with the, um, the little flaps on the inside at the side. And you see me now like realizing and trying to fix that. But you know what's done is done. Already spilled the milk. I can't get it back in the cup. <laughs> um, and right here you're seeing me contemplating you know measuring to see if i should put a piece of acetate to put on the inside you know because that's in well it's not invisible but it's see-through so it won't show as much but i decided not to waste my acetate also a fun idea you know it came to me um where you see that paper laying on the black right now um you could cut that section out and then glue acetate or with hot glue so it will stick some acetate so you can actually see inside of the cassette because typically a lot of cassettes are you know transparent you can see all the, the tape on the inside and so i'm just putting a bit i'm putting one sheet on the back fully i'm done I went ahead and stamped them out and just fussy cut it around and that's what I plan to do for the cards as well um, I will say I didn't get out as far as I wanted with the cards um, so you're not seeing them quite as yet um, I am planning to have I don't really know but I have a plan in my head that I am going to make I ho just hold punch on the side and put a um a jump ring or a ring binder onto it so that I can just stick cards in and that will act as a closure as well. 
And so I'm just cutting out the top to glue on the front so that I can make it um, like the one in the corner. Trying to get it back as close to that one because that white one is perfect. Perfect. I have no issues with that one. So this, this um, tutorial really, you know, it was like a test, you know, a very hard test because trial, error, you know, it's almost like our lives, really. Sometimes we try and we try and we don't succeed and we try some more, you know, we don't give up. Persistent, be persistent. You know push and if you push and it's not giving in push harder you know as the bible say knock and knock and knock some more you know seek and you shall find knock and it will be open and sometimes we expect to knock once and it will open it don't work like that sometimes you have to knock all 10 times so knock 10 times one of those days that door will open if it's the will of the lord should I also put that there if it is the will of the lord it will open so what happened here is that i realized that i can't put pattern on pattern so i needed just a black um tape thing in my jigger don't know what that part is called okay um what i'm going to be doing is stamping it over on some purple cardstock now here's the thing I don't know what these are called um <laughs> i don't know um but i will be fussy cutting around and uh, gluing it down i'm just going to be choosing the best one because you know it will be too busy if i use one of those little thingamajiggers like i said i don't know what it's called um that i have already and you know, it doesn't need to be stamped perfect. You know, it's supposed to be rustic. There's beauty in rusticness. If that's not a word, I just made it a word. <laughs> and right here now, had I bring this up a little more, the um the cassette stamp image cut out up a little more, then I could just stick the flap underneath like I did with one of the others that i said i made in the video before that did not come out no i just want to make this a little more uniformed and so i'm using the scraps to just cut little strips and put on the side and on the top because i know it just seems like it works for me no saying this this is the way i'm decorating mine you are by no means if you decide to create this you don't need to do it like this you can do whatever you want you know it's your boat you decide how to sail your ship ship boat whatever you decide you get to decide what you're gonna do that's the beauty of it and let you know what would be perfect the ideas are coming now you could just use heavy acetate or even vellum yet yeah. I might try that. I may or may not try that. Make this cassette out of vellum. That would be perfect. Perfect. I may do that. I'm going to do I'm going to do that. Make it out of vellum. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. That would be so nice. Super, super cute. I'm just imagining it now. It'd be so nice. I am going to definitely do that definitely definitely do that and then that will be like a real cassette that you can see through yes 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 or make your own pots and paper with the stamp or with the um the stencil oh my goodness oh my goodness use the stencil that is a perfect 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 idea perfect idea
All right, so for those who don't have the stamp set, what you're going to get is a 3 and 1 16th by a 1 and a half square rectangle piece of cardstock. And then you're going to get this one I measure in centimeters just so that it's very accurate and precise. Um, you're going to measure six centimeters by 1.9 centimeters and that's going to give you the inner rectangle where the tape section thing circle whatever it's called <laughs> is going to be and you're going to see some more measurement on that is and that is simply so that you can center it perfectly um from the top which is the section with the little notches on the side, that section will be three quarters of an inch. And right here, what I'm just showing you is how I, I measured it evenly. So if you can't cut it perfectly even on both sides, what I did was just a measure three millimeter on both sides and just connect it with a ruler and snip those off just so it's perfectly symmetrical. But when I'm placing the paper, as you can see, and it will, like I said, it will, all these things, except for the diagram of the ruler, will be downstairs in the description um, below. Now, I just went ahead and I took a button because I don't have a, a circle punch and um, cut out, traced and cut out two circles, which I'm now going to draw in those little, you know, iconic cassette thingy my jiggers the the little circles that go around the grooves um that go around like i said i don't know the name now i'm showing you this cassette so for those who don't have the stamp what you're gonna do is you know just to imitate the screws which i didn't even do on the others to be honest um i just cut use a hole punch and punched out some paper and uh, <laughs> oh goodness gracious i just used a hole punch and punched out um some what they're supposed to look like screws essentially that's what i'm thinking in my mind look like screws but they don't really look like screws now do they you can just draw in the screw i think that would have been better but those are glued down and if i pull them off it's just gonna look ratchet so no thank you now you are going to see that I did not glue anything and that's simply because um, I just like to stick things down with washi before just so I know where everything is and everything sits well um, before I, I permanently secure it because, you know, everyone has enough washi, right? You can just try things out, you know. Sometimes I am not so adventurous because I don't want to do things over multiple times. I don't like doing that. But this 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 little project i guess was made to stretch me because trust and believe that i did this multiple times <laughs> multiple and so i'm just making some marks um whoo, look at me trying to zoom in right <laughs> um i'm just making some marks all around to make those little grooves that is iconic for a cassette it helps it to spin i'm guessing i don't really know how it works you know but i i must say i miss those days you know the cassette and the cd players and the walkman days you know yes i was about that life back in the days when britney spears and christina aguilera were the bomb the bomb diggity and the backstreet boys and in sync yes that's where i grew up that's the era i am from i do I, I will say i do look younger than i i am you know a lot of persons typically think that i'm in my early 20s but that's not the case <laughs> that is not the case um so yeah i don't I, um just just a little fun fact i'm guessing <laughs> So right now I am kind of mimicking what I'm seeing above on the stamp, you know, um, I'm going to 
start coloring in and then I realized that this is going to take me forever and so pardon the hand that you just saw my son is seriously afraid of butterflies and he saw a butterfly and um yeah I had to tend to him there I thought I cut that out but apparently I did not So you just saw his hand sticking into the video. <laughs> um, I went ahead and just edit out all of that and colored it in. So it's now black and it looks so nice. Oh yes, I like the way it turned out. It's so fun. So, so fun. And like I said, can you imagine if you did this with acetate and it's all transparent? Oh my goodness, it would be so fun. Especially that little window nice that would be so fun you can actually make everything in this 3d you know um that was essentially my, my plan but yes that video might be over an hour long which would mean it would take me more than two hours to do because fast forward right And so now I'm just drawing in the iconic lines that are on cassettes that we typically write down or, um, you know, just write the name of the cassette if we, if we copy a cassette for ourselves. Um, and like you saw, I didn't glue that one down. I just stuck it on with washi. Um, and so I just removed it and I am playing around. I'm eventually going to glue it down, but I just want to make sure that, it, you know, I get it at the right spot and then I will mark it and then glue that down and just leave enough space so I can tuck that in. So that's what I was telling you about. Just leave enough space. If you don't have the Velcro um, dots or the magnet, just leave enough space so you can tuck the flap behind that. With these, I did not remember to do that. So that's another option for you as well and as you see I'm just showing you what's inside all my boxes and I am quite pleased with the way this turned out super pleased you know and this oh this is a good idea you can use these you know to send little goodies for happy mail as well you know it's it'll be fun so so fun so if you enjoyed this video please do consider giving us a thumbs up and if you made it to the to the end oh my goodness you might as well subscribe and while you're at it click on one of the videos that you will see in the end screen for more inspirational um crafts as well as more bible journaling content Bye-bye.